matcha is a Japanese powdered green tea that's used in the ceremonies. It is literally the whole green tea leaf ground down into a fine powder that looks like that there. Can we have a look? Um, and generally when you drink it, you drink the whole leaf instead of just pulling flavours or benefits off it. So that's why it tends to be quite a good tea for you because it's generally a concentrated tea and you're drinking all of the benefits from it. So it needs to be whisked up when prepared and you only use about half a teaspoon to a quarter per cup, so about that much there. In the ceremonies, they obviously make it quite a strong brew, but for everyday drinking, we wouldn't recommend the amount they use, so just a small amount. And then you want to use 80 degree water, so just a little bit of cold with the boiling pot. And then these are the traditional whisks there, so it's got quite a lot of bristles, so it can really break up the tea. And the way you whisk it up is instead of going round in a circle, you whisk it in an in M motion, so up and down, twisting the bowl, you can really break up the little bits of matcha in there. Does the tea just settle to the bottom or do you strain it? No, you literally just drink it straight from there. Mm. So I have the bowl and the whisk at home and I literally just drink like that. If it doesn't settle at the bottom, you just give it another whisk again, but you generally drink the whole thing. No need for straining or anything. I find it kind of, even though this whole ceremony looks quite big, it's one of the easiest teas to make, I think. No waiting around for it. So that one is just a plain matcha. Are there benefits to matcha? Yeah, so it's super, super or... high in antioxidants, yeah. um, but it's also quite high in caffeine, but it's a nice steady release of the caffeine. So all teas contain L-theanine, and that just releases the caffeine a lot steadier in your body, so you won't get, like with coffee, a big spike and a right. drop. It's okay. nice and steady. Yeah.